TikTok. You've heard of it. Maybe you are a consumer of it. The Wall Street Journal had a story yesterday about the growing number of teen girls that are showing up in hospitals and clinics with what? sudden motor and verbal tics, seemingly related to videos they watched on TikTok. And mentioned in that article is brain health coach and consultant Lee Richardson, who joins us from Dallas, Texas, on our Disk Institute of Pittsburgh Newsline. Lee, good morning. Um, good morning, guys. Uh, how long have you been in your practice? I started my practice back in 2009. So oh, I've spent some time in my space. And and so I would imagine this is all relatively new, but we're starting to hear is this developing ticks from watching, ironically, TikTok. Well, you know, I think it's interesting because I, I read that study. And, you know, from my perspective, what's going on in the brain affects what's going on in the body. I always say the body keeps score of what's going on in the brain. And I think, you know, this this motor problem has really developed in the last couple of years. And you, th you know what the last couple of years have been like for all of us. We've been, we felt like we're trapped, we're inside, we're isolated. So what do we do to amuse ourselves? We pick up our phone and the first thing that we find, we start looking at. And I think the younger the the younger population does that a lot more than I do. They're a lot better at that than I am. I mean, the places I see those kids go on those phones, I'm like, huh, how'd you get there? But it's not always a good thing to, to if you spend too much time there. And I think that a lot of the kids, that, particularly the girls who study talked about, they have a little bit of anxiety or a little bit of depression going on. And that, that's going on in their brain, but that leaves their body very vulnerable. And that, like I said, the body keeps score. They're, they're nervous, they're anxious, they're watching these videos. And the body's like mimicking what they see. Uh, it, it's amazing to me how we, when we see something, we internalize it. And we, if we watch it over and over and over again, our body starts to mimic that. Well, the, this is happening to mainly young girls, not young men who are watching TikTok videos. Why is it only happening to females? And what are the symptoms of this new tick? Well, you know, they're comparing it to Tourette's. And Tourette's is a disorder, and that happens a, a lot more to young boys than it does to girls. And I don't know, you know, the study didn't talk about the boys just haven't been coming into the hospital or the hospital emergency rooms. I think that they do watch TikTok. They may be watching different things. Um, but typically this type of motor disorder does affect young boys more than it does young girls, which, which kind of supports my conclusion that there's a mental aspect that it's feeding off of. We're with professional counselor Lee Richardson, a founder and clinical director of the Brain Performance Center in Dallas. Also curiously, have you found people who have issues just spending way too much time with other social media outlets too, like Facebook or Instagram, Snapchat, and comparing themselves to how it's perceived other people are living or looking and body shaming and all that stuff? Oh, absolutely. It's it's not just TikTok. It's, you know, anytime you're spending most of your time on social media, you're looking at somebody else. Oh, wow. I wish I had a dress like that. Oh, wow. Look at that car. I'll never have a car like that. Look at that family vacation. My family is so dysfunctional. I mean, anytime we're at, we, we place ourselves into a comparative society, you know what you're doing? You're, for, you're forcing a winner. And your folks in a loser. So uh, how long should a child be on social media or, or on their phone? And, and how unengaged are parents in the kids' lives these days? Well, or how much are the parents on social media? Uh. What, I always, what I always talk about with my clients is, remember, you're modeling behavior. If you're, you know, if you're upset because your kid's on Facebook or Instagram all the time, what are you doing? Are you modeling that behavior? And many times you'll you'll hear a big, oh, 
<laughs> well, I'm I'm older, you know, I'm older, and I'm like, yes, you are, but still, you have to think about what is the behavior you're modeling, and and I'm not opposed to a little bit of social media. I think that it can be very. It's a way that you can hear from people you haven't heard from in a long time, and you know, it's a way to get some new things going in your head. But that's got to be limited. And for a six or a seven year old, I'm blown away at how many six and seven year olds have phones. Well, I'm sorry I have to go. I have to tweet now about this conversation. <laughs> uh, but fascinating. I appreciate your time this morning, Lee. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, really. Uh, from the Wall Street Journal. And uh, Lee Richardson in Dallas, Texas, on our Disk Institute of Pittsburgh Newsline. Unbelievable. Story Unbelievable. about ticks being developed by too much TikTok. Yeah, she's the clinical director for the Brain Performance Center.